Please kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh. From the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you created man, became man yourself, through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary. You became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live in love here, so we may live in love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, in love and service. May we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all, for as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In them the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass and for those prayer requests placed in the Shrine's Facebook page. Thanksgiving, Evangelista Family, Gloria de la Cruz, Judith de la Cruz, Maricel de la Cruz, Daniel de la Cruz, Peter Nicholson, Annabelle and Peter Nicholson and Family, Riveri Sapien and Family, Ramon Cam Jr., Lucinita Sartaguda, Arthur and Faith Bañez, Spotlight, Special Intention, Erwin Tolfo, E.P. Himura Builders Incorporated, Daniel Cruz, Evangelista Family, Gloria de la Cruz, Janice Zaragoza Dato, Judith de la, Clu de la Cruz, Maricel de la Cruz, Jimuel, Ju, and Jane, Cam Family, Leonardo Tabuzo, Havana Hill, Hunter Aguelio, and Sniper Sage Ala Tabuzo, Josephine Ala Enriquez, and Paula Alexandria Ala Enriquez, Nadia Asmari, Jocelyn Ala Tabuzo, MOG Number 15 KSA, Jonathan Sartaguda, Cristel Mara Lagmay, Benji and Heidi Lagmay and family, and Beatriz Bañez. For the healing, Anas Anisita Huerta, Daniel de la Cruz, Gloria de la Cruz, Jerry Martinez, Ju Guting, Judith de la Cruz, Maricel de la Cruz, Nympha Piscador, Ray Igual, Emerita Alfonso, Ila Zavala, Rene Velas Vasquez, Moses Cam, Purita Estrada Ala, John Sinar. For the souls of the following, Amanda, Gabi, Danilo, Ido Vogues, Emmanuel, Bernardito, Carmen, Rinaldo, Maria Corazon, Fernando, Julierita, Lourdes, Lydia, Pedro, Jacinto, Delmar, Tiborcia, Lorenzo, Teresita, Francisco, Anisha, Salvador, Bonifacio, Armando Sr., Rafaela, Armando Jr., Corazon, Leonor, Victor, Hangilina, Vida, Cosette, Marilu, Norberto, Nelda, Daisy, Zosimo, John Paul, Edeth, Juan, Baby Primo, Joaquim, Tomas, Priscilla, Thelma, Carlos Sixto, 
Carlos Romulo, Carlos, Epifania, Ruben, and for all the souls in purgatory. Please rise as we begin our novena to the Mother of Perpetual Health. Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindness, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of His will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena. We earnest as you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and the unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in sodila with oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another, full of trust in You. We place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves His Church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers to your loving care. 
We especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a heaven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Health. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, help us. That we may prepare like you for the coming of Christ. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, help us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, help us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, help us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, help us. That we may realize the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, help us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, help us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, help us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, help us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, help us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, help us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, help us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, help us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, help us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, help us. To pray that the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, help us that we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, help us, that we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, help us, that we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, help us, that we may die at peace with Christ and our fellow men. Loving Mother, help us, that we, that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, help us to pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, help us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, help us in our needs. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience your perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. 
Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the second week of Advent. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Anthony Inson SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, Jesus urges his listeners, tired, weary, without direction, to come to him, to listen to his teachings, and to find peace, to find joy, and to find meaning by following Him. This same invitation is forwarded to us right now as we face a lot of challenges, as we face a world of pandemic, as we face different things in our lives today. Now for us to become less unworthy as we listen to the soothing words of Jesus and follow His teachings, let us first of all call to mind our sins. We beg the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you offer us rest and meaning in life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you take time to teach us your Father's will. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the source of our strength. You are the source of our hope. Sustain us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Let us include our intentions, the intentions of those who join us through live stream, there are students who will be defending their thesis tonight. They are asking also for our prayers. We also pray for Maan, who just celebrated her 18th birthday yesterday. And a celebration, the family joined the Mass, the online streaming Mass. Napakaganda na kahit iba ang mundo, may limitations, hindi pa rin nakakalimutan, magpasalamat sa Panginoon. Almighty God, who command us to prepare the way for Christ the Lord, grant in your kindness, we pray, that no infirmity may weary us as we long for the comforting presence of our heavenly physician, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
To whom can you liken me as an equal? Says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and strength of his power, none one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you know or have you not heard the Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth? He does not fade nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting, for the wicked he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youths stagger and fall. They that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all His benefits. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does He deal with us, nor does He requite us according to our crimes. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of our salvation. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes we hear people complain, especially those who have been active in their lives or sometimes yung kababagong retired pa lang. Sasabihin ng isang bagong retired na senior citizen, nakakapagod naman itong walang ginagawa. Nakakapagod ang walang ginagawa. So, kailangan may gawin siya dahil kung wala siyang ginagawa, nakakapagod. Or not only senior citizens, sometimes, for example, someone in an office job, desk job, buong araw nakaupo, nag-uopisina, ang sasabihin, long weekend, ngayon. So, pagod na ako dito sa aking trabaho, sa kakaupo, ngayong long weekend, I will travel far, I will go swimming, I will climb mountains, I will do exercise. Dahil napapagod akong maupo, 
Ngayong weekend, ang gagawin ko, tatakbo ako, aakyat ako ng bundok, magsuswimming ako, biyabiyahe ako ng malayo. These are ironical statements, but they are easily understood. Why? Hindi lahat ng nakakapagod is all about physical activity. And this is what Jesus will pertain to in our gospel today. Remember, for example, may panahon na sinabi nila, tamad ang Pinoy. The Filipino is tamad. Abay, sino ga ba naman ang gaganahan kung ang naguutos ay yung mananakop na Kastila? Our ancestors did not want to work not because they do not like work, but do, they do not like working for the conquerors. Nakakapagod nga naman, pag ang nagtrabaho mo, ang nakikinabang, isang mananakop, isang walang karapatan sa iyong gawa. The Israelites find themselves in a similar situation. They were conquered by the Roman Empire. They worked but much of the fruits of their labor will go to taxes. Marami sa kanila dahil hindi na, na makabayad ng tax dahil nabaon na sa utang, yung lupang minana nila nawawala na sa kanila. And they find no meaning to continue working because mananakop oppressor yung nakikinabang sa kanilang ginagawa. They were tired, not simply physically, but they were looking for meaningful life. And Jesus saw them, tired, weary, burdened. What does He normally do? He brings them out of the city, into the seashores, or into the mountains. Malayo muna sa problema. And once in the mountains, once in the seashores, once away from the problems, He begins to teach them. He begins to be with them. He begins to listen to them. He begins to cure their sicknesses and heavy hearts. At sa ating nabasang Ibanghelyo, sa pagpapatuloy ng kanyang paggabay sa kanila, pakikinig sa kanila, pagmamahal sa kanila, tinuturuan niya sila. Ang sabi niya, Come to me, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. So he was not simply offering physical rest. May kapalit na bigat, may kapalit na yoke, may kapalit na responsibility ang binibigay niyang kapayapaan, pagpapahalaga kahulugan ng buhay. Pope Francis, uh, Pope Benedict, when he was reflecting upon this very words of Jesus, my yoke is easy and my burden light, said, this yoke of Jesus, this burden of Jesus, is nothing more but love. Yung magmahal ka sa iyong kapwa, yung magmahal ka sa iyong Panginoon, ay may kasamang bigat, may kasamang responsibilidad, may kasamang emptying of yourself. It is not at all easy. It is not always free. There is a burden, and this burden is signified by love. May I also add, justice. May I also add, responsibility. May I also add, a sense of what is right. Kasi hindi pwedeng magmahal ka lang, pero maling uri ng pagmamahal. Mahalin mo to. Eh pero ito yung asawa mo. Eh mahal ko eh, hindi naman pwede yun. Pagmamahal, na may kaakibat na tama. A sense of what is right, a sense of what is just, a 
a sense of what is holy. This is the burden of following Christ, to love, to be just, to be right, and to be holy. Why is this a burden? Because when we love with justice, with the sense of what is right, with the sense of what is God's will, with the sense of what is holy, this will not always be a popular decision. Lilibakin ka ng ibang tao dahil ginagawa mo minsan ang tama. Sometimes to love is not always the most profitable decision. Now they are talking about vaccines. The rich countries, of course, have ordered much of these vaccines. The poorer countries are struggling to get their hands on these essential vaccines. They have what is profitable. We do not have so much money. But that does not mean we are exempted from being given the necessary vaccines. We should demand love. We should demand justice in the world. Hindi ito tungkol lamang sa pera. To love us, to be just, especially to poorer nations, will require an openness that sets aside economic profit. To be loving, to be just, to be right, and to be holy is not always the most powerful root. Yung iba tingin nila pag may baril, pag may pananakot, pag may kapangyarihan, doon ka popuesto. But when people speak of love, speak of justice, speak of right, speak of holiness, the words of the Pope, without nuclear arms, without power, become more defining, become more definitive, become more attractive. These words are not coming from human power. These words are not coming from anything worldly. But they are loving, they are just, they are holy. They are right. And it is a burden, minsan, of the Pope to speak when no one else would dare to speak. Again, dear brothers and sisters, ang sabi ng Panginoon, maraming napapagod. Come to me. But there is a catch. You have to be loving. You have to be just. You have to know what is right. You have to listen to God and follow His path to holiness. In doing so, you may not be popular. You may not be profitable. You may not be strong in the sense that the world defines it. But you will find peace. You will gain respect of your children. You will find meaning in life. This is a burden, but it's a burden that is easy and right. Let us all stand. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Confident of this promise, we now present to him our needs as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may guide us in the ways of peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are tempted to despair under the crushing weight of their problems may seek refuge in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that those who are suffering from mental torment may find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That those who are weighed down by bodily pain and illness may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to his guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of his peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that these are sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good in the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed that his first coming, the lowliness of the human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. of all holiness, 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with all your apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now turn to our loving Father in the manner Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are to receive him in this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only see the word in my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, 
Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, O Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even clean lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O oh, glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. San Rafael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Canungsod, Pray for us. Saint Arnold Janssen and Joseph Renademitz, Pray for us. 
please be seated for the psalm announcement. With the theme, Hashtag PassCOVID, Halina Jesus Banal na Diwa, Aming Pag-asa at Galak sa Panahon ng COVID-19, the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word has lined up schedule of activi activities in line with the celebration of the Advent and Christmas season this year. Simbang Gabi, Vigil or Anticipated Masses, December 15 to 23 at 8 p.m. Misa de Gallo, December 16 to 24, 4.30 a.m. Christmas Eve Mass or Misa Aguinaldo Mass on December 24, 8 p.m. Christmas Day on December 25, the Nativity of the Lord, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. New Year's Eve Mass on December 31, 8 p.m. New Year's Day, January 1, Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Our liturgical activities are live stream and open to the public in accordance to IATF guidelines. Hashtag PassCOVID poster making contest. The Christmas spirit will not be probably the same as before because we were faced with many challenges. Through all the pain, fear, and suffering, one thing remains constant, the love of God through Jesus, His Son. The contest aims to become an avenue of art expression to inspire and encourage us to keep our faith in this season of hope. The contest is open to the Shrine community and the faithful. The contest will have the following categories with prizes. Senior category, traditional poster, 13 years old to 25 years old. Senior category, digital poster, 13 years old to 25 years old. Junior category, traditional poster, 7 years old to 12 years old. For more information, please check the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, Facebook page. Thank you. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We continue to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Arnold and Joseph, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 